Hey guys, we're here floating in the Danube River in, where are we right now, huh? Vienna, Austria. Yeah, you guessed it. So we're a little island in the middle of the Danube River, floating around and kind of enjoying our day. And I wanted to just take a little few minutes to give you guys a little, little motivational tip, a little bit of some stories, some crazy bone stories, and uh, just some advice from an old guy who's done it all. And uh, basically, I wanna talk about euphoric recall, which is a psychological term. And I wanna talk about, basically what, it, what I'm gonna get down to is taking, deciding to take an ounce of pleasure for a pound of pain, or along with a pound of pain. And, you know, a lot of people do that. And I'm currently kind of traveling around, meeting new people in Europe and doing, you know, fun, cool new things. And some of the people that I've met recently, some of the new people that I've met, uh, or a lot of them really in my age group, and anywhere from 10 years younger to about my age group, have just been real big partiers. And a lot of the people I've met in Europe that are from here and from overseas as well, visiting here, are just really big party people, it seems like. Lot, big drinkers, lots of drug use, and so I'm gonna kinda cover that, and it seems like that's the way that our youth is going in America as well, in our country. Really big into kind of chasing the thrill or, you know, the next high. No matter what it is, you know, there's so many things people are addicted to these days. And euphoric recall is a psychological term that basically you do something, it's fun for a second and really it sucks a lot. And then the next day or the next month or the next year when you think back on it and you remember it or you recall it, you recall it with some euphoria. You remember the good stuff and not the bad stuff. So I wanna just challenge you guys to to not only remember the good parts, and not only remember the good things about maybe lives of excess or things that you've done living to excess, or things that may not have been great, you know, uh, healthy or, you know, mentally, spiritually, or physically healthy. And then when we think back on those things, we really need to remember uh, the negatives as well as the positives. So relationships are one of those things a lot of times like after a bad breakup, you'll tend to only remember the good things about your ex, as an example. And another example would be, you know, some of the people that I've recently been meeting here, they go out and party every night. Some friends that I have in this area, European guys. There's not a lot of people in America too, but they go out and party a lot. And then the next day they're, you know, feeling terrible or at the point that they do they they tend to just recall the good parts about it but not the fact that their health is failing and they don't have time to do anything you know productive their lives are going awry because not only is the time that you spend you know drinking or doing drugs a real you know down um killed wasted useless time no matter what happens or how much fun you think you have it's it's never worth it but the, the next day is useless too because your brain is foggy at the least or at the most you're in bed all day you know or in the hospital or who knows what you know or you've developed an addiction uh, you get diseases from certain things you know in that life and I just want to challenge you guys to be realistic with yourselves and be honest with yourselves when you think back when you think back on on uh, on things that you've done in the past and are you, use, are you succumbing to euphoric recall? Or are you being honest with yourself about your past experiences and whether they've been good or not? Thanks, appreciate your time. Hopefully it's something you think about and consider and maybe even make some life changes. And uh, 
hopefully I can, I can, you know, even if I just reach one person with this video, then, then I feel like I've done something. So appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. And uh, questions, comments below, as always. Bone out.